One of the background animators' name is Art. How fitting! <laughs> Hello friends! Today we're going very classic and watching the original Cinderella. I'm like 74% certain I've seen this movie before, but I could be mistaken. But anyways, let's go ahead and get started and watch this movie. I have caffeine today. I don't normally drink caffeine, so I think I'm a little bit louder and maybe a little bit more enthusiastic than I normally am. But yeah, I just wanted to point out my mug. How do you like me now? <laughs> what kind of a dream? Mm -mm. Can't tell. Then it won't come true. <laughs> Cause if you tell a wish, it won't come true. Yeah. <laughs> oh, kill joy. <laughs> I hear you. Come on, get up, you say. Okay, I, I actually really like Cinderella so far. She's 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 cooler than I thought she was. So. Oh no, the sun came out. <laughs> now it's gonna get really hot in here, I'm already sweating. That's like such a positive message to spread to especially children. I am guess I'm like, I'm making the argument of this is not a movie that's gonna make your children think that a man has to come save them or whatever. I feel like I have some sort of like underlying connection to this movie so I'm like incredibly defensive of it. <laughs> I, I like this so far. <laughs> in the trap? Why didn't you say so? Oh no! You can't trap the animals. <laughs> no, I'm. Gosh, I can't laugh without coughing today. Hmm, purple and green. I wonder what that means. <laughs> Lucifer, come here. <laughs> no, but that doesn't that doesn't work with a cat. Even if you yell at them, be like, be like, stop it. <laughs> they still just do whatever they want. But they're great though. I love it when they time the score to the movements of the animals, like that's just, ugh. When they were creating these characters and their personalities, they had to associate it with something else. So I think, is that a bassoon? I don't know, it's, some, it's a woodwind for sure. Even in live action movies nowadays, they do that too. It just makes this all this content so much more special, so yeah. That sounded, that sounded like strings, ha <laughs> ha. No, it's not gonna work, no. Or just eat one now. Okay, or, okay. Gonna walk right into the cat, no, no. Leave the shoe behind. Like what, why is she even wearing shoes in the house? I mean, I guess she just came from the outside, but like, that just makes the house dirtier. Come here. She's got the same inflections as Maleficent, but it, it also might be, I think it's just the um, mid-Atlantic, transatlantic. It's the, the accent that ladies spoke in in the 50s, well, and men too. All right, so did a quick check on INDB. So the actress who voices Maleficent is also the same actress who voices Lady Tremaine. So it's like, it's like that's why they sound so similar. It's practical jokes. Yeah, I can hear, I can hear the same voice now. But we must be patient. I am patient. Uh, that doesn't sound too patient to me. <laughs> Does uh -huh. soft lights. Romantic music. All oh, the trimming. I thought he said war. <laughs> <coughs> Yelling and laughing is not helping my asthma right now. Ah, no. <laughs> I'm like trying to block out the sound, but it's only making it more intense because the headphones. No, sit your fluffy behind back down. Look at those bubbles! Look at how they were animated! <gasps> Look at that! Every eligible maiden is to attend! Why, that's us! And I'm so eligible! If you can find something suitable to wear... I'm sure I can! Then why is it like, we can do it, we can do it! 
Mother! Do you realize what you just said? Of course. So, the whole point of them not wanting her to show up is kind of pointing out their own insecurities. That, like, they know that she's gorgeous, they know that she's good hearted, and, and that if the prince sees her, chances are he's gonna fall in love with her. And so I just, I don't know, I, I think it's interesting, like, how insecurity plays out, especially in these girls, that they're so intimidated by her. But for so long, they've put her in a place of submission that <clears throat> she probably doesn't even realize her own, like, ability, her own capability as her own person, but yet they're still so afraid. I, that's really interesting that bullies and abusers, they are actually the ones creating these cycles, if that makes sense. They're contributing to their own fear, their own worry. And if they were just able to work within themselves to figure out what's causing them to be so insecure, so afraid, then they may not feel the need to be so awful. But that's that might be a little bit too complex for a Disney movie. <laughs> Poor Cinderella. No. Hey, we can do it! Hey, we, we love a can-do can attitude. <laughs> like, the other thing I want to say, yeah, there we go. Lucifer just needs to get a life. Like, just chill out like Bella is. She's just snoozing. <gasps> look behind you, look behind you. <gasps> <laughs> Happy birthday! Oh, <laughs> I might as well be a birthday present, you know, whenever her birthday is. But <laughs> she's so cute. Oh, <laughs> do you like it? Do you think it will do? <laughs> Mother, she can't wait. No, no, you, you, you just, just can't have fun. Girls, please. If they, okay, so they're all supposed to be the same age. I think Cinderella is supposed to be around eighteen, give or take. But like the stepsisters. They act like they're they're five, maybe twelve, at like the, the greatest estimate. But like they're they're nearly throwing a tantrum at the fact that Cinderella has a dress. Like, I mean I get the mom is encouraging this type of behavior, but like in this time they'd be considered ready to be wives, but yet they're acting like children. Like I, I don't get it. Make it make sense. <laughs> but yeah, no, I love Cinderella's dress. It's so cute. I can't believe not anymore. There's nothing left to believe in. If you'd lost all your faith, I couldn't be here. And here I am. <gasps> I forgot. I put it away. <laughs> like that's such a that's such a simple little like trick, but it was so like, oh I love that. A pumpkin. But a a, a pumpkin? Mm-hmm. Now um now the, the boom. Put them together and <laughs> Where's is the face there? Yeah, it is. Okay. <laughs> this is my go-to Halloween costume. But I'm like, I'm wearing it because it's sparkly. It's green, but it's it's sparkly, so it counts. So lovely dear. Lo good heavens, child. You <laughs> How can't did she go not see it this entire time? Now uh, Hey. Oh, it's a beautiful dress. The color of her dress is actually silver, but in marketing they changed it to blue because they didn't want to sell silver white dresses to little girls because the implication of silver is kind of bridal. Her colors are technically white, silver, blue, um, but yeah. But also, like, you can see all the line work and all the sparkles and, like, it's, ah, I, I love it, I love it. But yeah, can I, because now that she's in transformation, can I have both on here? <laughs> I feel like this would just, like, fall off. I'm distracted by the sparkles. Oh, I understand, but it's more than I ever hoped for. Oh, you, my child. She hasn't had someone who has, like, intentionally given her something so of course she's going to be grateful for the slightest of things because this is actually someone showing her kindness but no i just think she's i just oh i love it so far <laughs> i can't understand it because it's artificial it's not real <gasps> look at the colors and sparkles <laughs> you can do it cinderella you can do it Take a look at that, you pompous windbag! 
I'm going to use that as an insult from now on, you pompous windbag. <laughs> Transition. I like that. <laughs> that reminds me of Alice in Wonderland. So. It's she's, got, she's got a curfew. Yes. So, but why? Well, I, I, oh, the prince. Uh, I haven't met the prince. The prince. Oh. But didn't you? Because know? she's been locked in the tower. She doesn't know. So she's like. But you would think she'd be able to figure out that he's so... Well, I guess because he approached her, so... Crown is gone. <laughs> Oof! Not the pumpkin! Bella looks quite relaxed over there. Thank you so much for everything. And so why is it that the slipper is able to stay past midnight? Did the fairy god godmother create like a terms and conditions that allowed that to stay longer so the plot could be resolved or like what leaving behind only this glass slipper yes i'll do it what <laughs> for you my friend your, your majesty please please a knighthood i hereby dub you sir you you traitor <laughs> why is it that the disney princess movies have like these arrogant father figures like i mean sign of the times but like all, all the king has to do is just like stop and listen to what he's saying and then be like oh wait well then how about we figure out a way to find her since the prince was to, since the prince was into her his goal was working just have to do things a little different communication the one who lost her slipper at the ball last night they say he's madly in love with her Did plot convenience <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Alright, I got lipstick on my shirt. Not sure if it's coming off, but it's just gonna be there for now, so. <laughs> on every girl in the kingdom. And if one can be found whom the we slipper still fits, have a chance. Then, by the king's command, that girl shall be the prince's bride. His bride. Inconceivable! You keep using the word. I do not think it means what you think it means. <laughs> So this is love. Uh oh, oh no. Ah, Cinderella, no! All I had to do was like, wait like five seconds. Ugh. My slipper, oh, exactly my size. I always wear the same size. As soon as I saw it, I said, and then, of course, you know, in the original Brothers Grimm story, one of the sisters cuts off toes, one of the sisters cuts, cuts off her heel, and, like, does all this stuff to try to get the shoe to fit. But it's like, their their toes were still there last night when they were dancing. Like, she didn't just magically re regrow a pair of toes overnight. Even that, like, still wouldn't be able to prove that she was the girl that the prince danced with, so. How did you ever manage to... No! No! Absolutely not! I was completely passed out. She normally, if I'm this loud, she's like, "Oh no!" <laughs> oh, oh goodness! Wouldn't she just be able to break the door? Like, if someone trapped me in the door, I don't care about the lock. I'm gonna bust through with my shoulder. I might hurt my shoulder, but my shoulders are already hurt. So, <laughs> of all the stupid little idiots. I'll do it myself. Dude, come on, give him a break. I'll make it fit. <laughs> and like, how has the shoe held up to being forced into feet that's too big? Like, you are the only ladies of the household, I hope. Uh, I no. appreciate you. There's no one else, Your Grace. Lies. Right, sir. Your Grace. <gasps> Your yes. Grace. Yes, just an imaginative child. Madam, my orders were every maiden. <laughs> my child. I don't like the implication of her being called a child, uh, considering that if the shoe fits, she would become a bride that day. Like what? Is she a child or is she a grown woman who can be a wife? No. Sure about no, that? But you see, I have the other slipper. <laughs> Ooh, I like her wedding dress. Cool. Girl, get yourself some like sticky tape or something. 
Oh, yay! Oh, yeah, also don't throw rice at a wedding. It can really harm birds. Where's the prince? What did she... <laughs> they forgot to animate him because Cinderella was just like, Nope, I'm doing my own journey. <laughs> And of course, they live happily ever after. <laughs> Ooh, I like those credits. Yay! All right, so that was Cinderella. It's such a lovely movie. Like, I know that I like pick apart these movies sometimes, but like, genuinely speaking, I do love these movies. Like, there is a reason I choose to react to them. If y'all want to see any of my other reaction videos, click here. Uh, that's all I've got for now. Have a wonderful day, and yeah. Bye! <laughs>